Hello, thanks for joining me today. I'm Pat Speth, author of the Nickel Quilt Books. I love scrappy quilts and I love to work with five inch squares of fabrics. I also love to play around with piece borders and to add piece borders to some of the quilts that I make. The border that I'm going to demo for you today is the piece border that I used in my Dawn to Dusk quilt. This piece border I originally designed to use up leftover pieces from making the blocks for the quilt. It can, of course, be made for any quilt and made from 5 inch squares or 2.5 inch strips. In my last video, I demoed how to make the blocks in this quilt, and I will include a link below in the description area linking to that video. This is a sample of the pieced border that I used in my Dawn to Dusk quilt. It is made out of units I refer to as picket fence units. Units look like this, and for this border I used dark picket fence units, light picket fence units, and I sewed those together to make the border blocks. Each of the border blocks contains, yes, one dark picket fence unit and one light picket fence unit. As we are looking at these, you will notice it, it's mirror image units but switching out and doing a positive negative on where the darks and lights appear in each of the units. This unit, yes, the, uh, the larger portion of the picket fence block unit is dark. Over here it's light. The connecting square that created the triangle is light over here and it is dark over here. And it's important to remember that we are making mirror image units when we are sewing these together. To create these units, we need rectangles that are two and a half inches by four and a half inches, one of the dark, one of the light. We also need two and a half inch squares, a light two and a half inch square, a dark two and a half inch square. And I have drawn diagonal lines on the back side of each of the connecting squares I'm going to use. Now for the placement of the squares, on top of the rectangles, and yes, we do place those right sides together. For the dark picket fence unit, you, starting with the dark two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangle, lining up and placing the connecting square on the left side of the rectangle, yes, line up those three edges. By placing it on the left side of the rectangle, once we have the stitching done, you will see that this unit then will turn into the dark picket fence unit with the triangle, the lighter triangle, on the correct side of the unit. For the light picket fence unit, starting with that light rectangle, dark connecting square, the dark connecting square goes on the right side of the unit. When we've done our stitching, you can see that, yes, that will create that unit right there. Okay, so like I mentioned, lining these the three edges up. Now when stitching and I'm sending these through the machine, I like to start on this nice flat edge and work my way down to the corner. Stitching just to the outside of that diagonal line and not right on it. It's towards the corner. We're going to be cutting away. I also like to utilize my waist triangles, so I run another line of stitching about a half an inch away repeating that process on for the light picket fence unit. Stitching just one thread to the outside of that drawn diagonal line. My extra line of stitching about a half an inch away. Once I have done the stitching, adding the connecting square to my rectangle and I fold back. First of all, I fold this back to make sure the edges line up really nicely and then at that point you can go ahead and cut away the waist triangle units. Now for the pressing on these guys, I decided when I was making my unit and I realized I didn't want a whole lot of bulk up here, I decided to press one to the dark and one to the light. And for this particular border block, I decided for my, on my picket fence units to press the dark one up to the light, the lighter unit down to the light. 
and then when I am putting these together and sending them through my machine and I would be stitching you know that scant quarter of an inch long here the not only will this seems to be going opposite but our sewing machine then is going to do some work for us and it's going to force and lock in that top seam into the bottom seam for really nice sharp points. This border unit or border uh, block, whatever you want to call it, at this point is going to measure four and a half inches square and it will finish at four inches square. Just make a whole bunch of those, go ahead and sew those together into your border strips for your quilt top. That's all there is to making that this fun, exciting piece border. Piece borders can add a lot of interest to a quilt, and I've designed many over the years. All the instructions for the piece border in the Dawn to Dusk quilt, of course, appear in the books the quilt is in, and that is the More Nickel Quilt book and the Big Book of Nickel Quilts. I also wrote a book called Nickel Quilts and Borders that, besides the seven fabulous quilts that are in the book, contain 260 piece border ideas that can be made from five inch squares of fabrics. Ordering information will be coming up next for those books. Thank you for joining me today, and until I post my next video, have fun making your quilts. All the information for making the Dawn into Dust quilt in three different sizes as well as its piece border can be found in the books More Nickel Quilts and the Big Book of Nickel Quilts. My Nickel Quilts and Borders book includes seven fabulous quilts, as well as 260 piece border ideas that can be made from five inch squares of fabrics. These books, as well as my other books and patterns, can be ordered from my website. I've included a link to my website below in the video description area. Purchases from my website will help fund the creation and production of more Nickel Quilt videos for all to enjoy and learn from. Thank you.